In this episode, we're going to talk about emerging technologies. In recent years, it's been all about 3D, but who wants to wear those goggles? Not me. What's coming and coming fast is 4K capture. What's 4K? Well, for one thing, it's four times the resolution of 1080p. That's awesome. And it's really going to matter to people who do nature and wildlife work because it allows them an opportunity to revisit often filmed locations to get the same subjects but now in even greater resolution. Think about the BBC. I'm sure they're out there right now hammering it with 4K. Let's take a look at what it really means. 4K, being four times the resolution of 1080p, means that you can compose a 1080p frame within the 4K frame. The footage you're seeing now is dumbed down to 1080p or whatever you're seeing on your monitor. But graphically, I'm showing you just what it means in terms of the relationship of size between 1080p and 4K. In this scene, I've taken a static shot and punched in for a close-up. In this scene, we've taken the 4K still frame and now we're doing a pan across the frame. Think about it. You could do a single locked off shot with a 4K camera and then go in and pick out tighter coverage as long as you're working in 1080p. 4K is more than we need right now, but if you're working on a 1080p project, think of it this way. You can punch in and grab different looking elements out of the very same frame and stills. It's perfect for stills. You can pull essentially an 8 megapixel still from each one of those 24 frames per second. More than adequate for a double page spread. I shot this footage with Canon's 1DC. This is an SLR style camera, essentially the 1DX on steroids. It does everything the 1DX does, but it also shoots 4K at 24 frames per second. If I deny the 180 degree shutter rule and run my shutter speeds up, I can get a very crisp looking 24 frame per second video, but I can also pull any one of those individual frames and print it as a still. They work out to be close to an 8 megapixel still frame. 4K. Imagine the possibilities.